have to have that mindset. You have to have that fire, that fight inside. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bring up a guest speaker here, and he's going to rock your world because he's rocked my world. I've lived my life with athletics as being the balance to me, to challenge myself physically to where doctors said, Chris, you know what, you can't do this, you shouldn't do this. I said, forget, forget about it. And I did it. And I lived my dream. And I've had to turn to certain people to coach me because I didn't have exactly what I needed to push the boundaries. And so I surround myself with really good people. And that's really critical. If you ask Donald Trump why he's successful, you know what he'll say? He'll point to the guy next to him because of this guy. He has good people around him. So I'm gonna bring up somebody here in just a minute. And this is a guy that I met several years ago, um, just in network marketing. We were doing meetings and doing the whole network marketing thing. And I was really inspired by his attitude. He had the right attitude and he had the drive and the accountability. And I called him a little while back and I said, Mark, I need you. I need you to help me get back on track. And I saw a video clip, I hadn't talked to him in years, we disconnected, lost track of each other, and I saw a video clip on the internet that I'm gonna play, it's really short, I promise, and uh, it rocked my world. I said, I need this kind of accountability in my life. I can be accountable for my business and my success, but I also need accountability. You all need your own accountability, okay? So I reached out to this person, he's helped me get in the best shape of my life, create a mindset of failure is not an option, regardless of anything going on in your life. And he pushes me every single day in and out of the gym. I can go to him with personal issues, business issues, and he so happens to uh, be one of our best uh, sales guys that's helping with our iPass system that we launched with, uh, with Empower Network. Uh, so I wanna introduce a quick video clip. Let's roll a clip of Mark, and I'm gonna bring him up here, and he is going to rock your way of thinking. I promise you that. So let's roll this real quick. Ask yourself right now if the boy that you were 30 years ago would would think of the man that you are now as a hero or not. I come from a tough love background. If you're training with me, you get an enormous dose of accountability. It's not an option to quit. Only thing I can give you for your best excuse is a shitty result. The big dose of accountability is to make sure that we take all those excuses off your plate and we start getting the results. I would say to that guy that slumped over and stuck, I would say get your ass up, get your body moving, and get your intention for life back because it's right there for you to take. Wake up your damn warrior spirit because it's in there. Strap your balls back on and go take charge of your life. And when you become an intentional results getting uh, man that's uh, a confident, humble, take charge man, you become attractive to others, you become attractive to your family, you become attractive to your wife, and guess what? Your life gets good. Mr. Mark Dale, everybody. Chris told you um, uh, 
you said you were inspired by my attitude. I want to talk to you guys today uh, in hopes that you can receive what I'm about to tell you from maybe a different point of view, maybe a different angle of attack, maybe a different way that you can receive this, but at least it'll make sense to you and uh, help. I just want to help you, okay? Uh, I want to talk about attitude, okay? Half the room may have just thought to themselves, well, here we go again, some guy's going to talk about attitude. Then if that's you, that's the, you, I'm the one I want to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The reason I want to talk about attitude is that just on, a, on, a, on the most basic fundamental level of whatever we're doing, in power network business, training, getting in shape, we have to have the right attitude in order to go forward with life. Okay? There's a few definitions for the word attitude. If it's an aeronautical point of view from a plane, as a plane is flying through the air, the attitude of the plane is the nose of the plane. Is the attitude north or pointed positively? As that plane goes forward, if it's positive attitude, it's gonna go upwards and go, go up and onward with life, okay? If that plane has a negative attitude and that plane nose is pointed down, the attitude is negative, it's gonna go into the dirt. That's just the aeronautical definition of the word attitude. I'll submit to you that my point of view on attitude is a filter. And it is either a very powerful, helpful filter, or it is the most wicked, deadly filter you'll ever deal with. And I'm going to start preaching it pretty hard to you right now. I won't yell at them too much. I can get yelly. I start stretching out up here a little bit. Because look, I, I, I train, I, I have trained mixed martial arts fighters. I, I've trained military, I've trained, I, I get, I, sometimes I get drill sergeant -y, so I, I apologize. So let's look about attitude as a filter. Okay, I would submit to you that there's the filter right behind your eyeballs. There's a filter right behind your ears. And it's a filter that we don't think about, but it's a filter that everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know has to go through this filter first. And the filter is my attitude. It's an attitude filter, okay? <laughs> so if my filter is positive, I will then receive whatever I need to do to receive whatever information I'm about to get, and my attitude needs to give it a positive slant before I deal with it. Now what I want to share with you is that my opinion on attitude is it is a free will choice, and it's something that you can do and choose. I wake up every morning, I put my feet on the floor, and I choose my attitude. I put a hat on that says positive attitude. Okay. This is my filter. This is where I go through my day now. Everything you want to talk to me about is going to go through this filter. I chose to put on a good filter, a good attitude. I chose to put it on. Give me adversity right now. You know anything, give me any sort of adversity, I will respond to it, but what I'm gonna have is a positive uh, slant on it first. I'm gonna try to receive it in a positive point of view. Does that make sense? I, I, I have made a very, very intentional decision to have a positive, good attitude. And it's here all the time. Okay? You can give me bad news and you can give me challenges and you can give me adversity, but it doesn't matter because I will have this attitude. This is my positive filter. And it's my, it's my decision. I decided to put that on. All right? Now let's, let's reverse that a little bit. Let's talk about what if I just wanted to put a negative filter on or a negative attitude. It's my free will choice. I don't have to be positive. No. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 yeah. I get to do it. Here's my problem when I put a hat on like this. I start huffing around the gym. I start huffing around. You can give me really good news right now. 
You could give me really good news, but my filter is going to receive that and make it go negatively first before I'm going to deal with it. Does that make sense? Are you tracking? Here's what people sound like with this filter on, and I see it. I see it all the time. I see it. You see it. It might be you. If it's you, here we go. Hey, Mark. There's a. Uh, Five bricks of gold right there. They're yours. You can have them. Well, I got this filter on. I'm like, well, that sucks. <laughs> They're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have Chris pick them up. <laughs> no, no, this is good. They're my bricks. They just gave me gold bricks. But look, I want. Uh, they're heavy. Now I gotta pick them up. Now I gotta carry them. Now someone's going to see me carrying gold bricks around and they're going to punch me in the head and steal them from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm going to offend your inner wussy today. And I will inspire your inner badass. Yeah! Okay. No, no, no. But, but look, uh, why did he have to give me gold bricks? They're so heavy and I don't know what to do because uh, I got this on. <laughs> Mark, you just got a stack of gold bricks. I'm like, giddy up. <laughs> don't, don't touch my bricks. <laughs> They're mine. Now I got news for you. I've prepared myself in life to take that, that stack of gold bricks. I will put it in a backpack and I will walk my happy butt up to uh, <laughs> up Highway 35, right track, right straight north. Highway 35 goes straight from Dallas, straight to Minneapolis. I'll, I'll carry those bricks myself. It's good news. Okay? Mark, you just won the lottery. Ah, gotta pay half in taxes. <laughs> Chris is going to want me to take him out to dinner. <laughs> look, look, it's good news, but I'm putting it through my negative filter first. And now I'm dealing with it, right? Uh, everybody's going to ask me for money. The government's going to take it. Uh, huh. No, th this is what I chose today. Mark, your family has cancer. Somebody died. Someone's in the hospital. It's bad news. Okay, it's bad news. It's life. Life happens. Got this on. I can receive bad news, and it will go through my positive, filtered attitude. And I will deal with that bad news or bad circumstance or adversity the best I can. It's not all unicorns and rainbows and glitter. This helps. It helps a lot. But you choose. You choose. You choose how, how you're going to put this hat on. What are you going to do? I listen to a lot of people tell me what they want to do. I listen to Chris tell me what he wants to do, and I don't start listening for long. I'll listen to somebody tell me what they want to do only for so long because I cannot even hear them anymore because I instantly start looking at their feet to see what they're going to do. Yeah, the video I challenge people's ball sack. I happen to do it all the time. Deal with a lot of guys telling me what they want to do. I'll love them where they're at and I'll listen to them and I'll do my best to help them. But I won't listen long because I can't hear them anymore because I'm looking at their feet. I want to see what they do. That man right there, when he says it's going to happen and he says he's going to do it, he does it. I respect this man more and more every day. We are very, very, very lucky to have him to look to 
as an example on how we can do our business with Empower Network. You guys are in a good spot. Okay. <laughs> Let me put it to you another way. Adversity to a man who's wearing one of these. Or woman, give me adversity now. Uh, yeah, give me adversity, but I have this filter on, and I will break. will break. Adversity will break this filter. And if it's on you, you better do something about it. You better turn your damn hat around. Now give me adversity. You're being attacked by dragons. Yeah. Are they unicorn dragons like the fairy does? <laughs> Get my slingshot out. <laughs> Now you give me adversity when I've got this filter on it, I will break records. I'll break records. I will just break. I'm suggesting to you that this, ad this attitude is your free will choice. Please, 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 please know that, understand that. And if for the rest of the weekend, if someone's getting all upset, you say, look, turn your damn hand around. <laughs> I'll understand. That's fine. At least they'll know what we're talking about. Now, when you go home and you tell them, well, you're, listen, your damn hat's on backwards. <laughs> they'll be like, what? You'll be like. <laughs> Now we're gonna wrap it up here and I'm gonna put a bow on this, but let me explain to you one more way that this might be very helpful for you. If this is the way you've got your hat on, you have an advantage in life. It's a sneaky advantage you have over everybody else. And I hope that when they see you, they can see this type of attitude. And when Chris said, look, I just saw the guy's attitude and it was uh, uh, infectious and it worked on me and it just passed it through, it is like, let me explain to you. This is like having this attitude. It's like... You guys really? Chris, anything else you want to share with these people? That's it for you. Right on, you guys.